we have a bunch of tasks and some due dates, but we want to email ourselves, not on the due date, but before the due date. So we need to have another piece of data here, which is how many days until that due date. We can do date diff, and date diff is going to need a start date, which is today, and an end date. And then it needs some amount of units, which is D days. Now we'll autofill this, and we'll see that if something is due today, it's zero. And there's also one day before the deadline, two days before the deadline. So we need to go through each of these, find out what is either one day away from being due or two days, whenever you want to send that email. Let's go and create an email in AppScript. Let's create a function called email reminder. And we're going to need a few things. We're going to need the sheet, spreadsheet app .get active spreadsheet, get sheet by name. And in our case, it's sheet one. Maybe in your case, it's a different name, sheet one. And then we're going to need the data, which is going to be sheet.get range. And it's going to be A2 colon C. And then we can also do plus, we need the number of the last row. So it's sheet.get last row. And then outside of this get range, we're going to do get value. So we're going to get all of the values in the A column to the C column. And then we're going to do data dot for each. And we're going to create a row and index, a little function here, which we're going to get the task by doing equals row in not curly brackets, but square brackets zero. We're going to get days until do equals row and it'll be two which is the third column and if days until due is equal to one we'll send an email if days until due is equal to two we're going to send a different email in the first case we're going to do mail app because we're going to just going to send to ourselves send email and we're going to get spreadsheet dot get spreadsheet active spreadsheet dot get owner dot get email. That is our email. So we can actually separate this. Let's go here and create a const owner email equals. And we're going to send that to ourselves. Owner email, a subject, one day till, and then we need the task. So we'll put that in the subject plus task. And then in the body, we'll say it's only one day until, and then add plus task. There we go. So in our email, we're sending in someone, which is us, a subject, and a body. Very simple email. We're going to copy this email and say two days till. It's only two days until. So let's run this and see what we get. We're going to have to authorize, obviously, the very first time we run it. All hit continue. And we have an email, review client contract one day. Let's see if that is correct. Review client contract is one day until it's due. Perfect. So how do we run this each and every day? Go over to triggers on the left side. Then on the bottom right, click add trigger. Then choose which function to run. If you have multiple functions, you'll have to choose it here. Email reminder. And we're going to change event source to time driven. And we're going to change this to day. And we're going to change this time to, let's say we'll do it in the morning, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Hit save. And now we have a trigger that will send every single day. If we want to delete this, go to the three dots here and click delete trigger. Now, if you're looking for this app script, you want to copy it down below here on YouTube is this exact app script. Go get it absolutely free. Just copy it to your drive and copy this script and use it in your sheets. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is going to be your next Google Sheet.